Hello everyone. My name is Max McDougall. Today I'll be demonstrating patching on the MA Lighting Scan Commander. We'll be patching a handful of Martin Mac 2K profiles, uh, some dimmer channels, which are referred to as extras on the desk, and we'll also be patching some VL5 uh, Verilites, which will demonstrate the uh, break patching on the MA Lighting Scan Commander. So let's get started. First thing we want to do, we'll start from a fresh show file. How you do that is hold these four keys, start the desk, gives you this menu. We're going to clear all. OK. Great. Clean desk. All right. Uh, first thing I would like to patch are our uh, Mac 2K profiles. So we're going to go to setup here. Um, both the Mac profile, um, the 2K profile, and the VL5 uh, are part of the library that's embedded in the, uh, the ROM of the desk. So. With that being said, uh, I can just go to lamp type here and pick from this selection of manufacturers. Now, when you start using this in the modern day, you're probably going to be building your own fixture profiles, which we'll go over in another video. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to be demonstrating patching with uh, lights that are in the ROM. So as you can see, there's a variety of lights here um, from various manufacturers. A lot of them don't exist anymore. Uh, kind of fun to dig through this. But uh, for our sake, let's find Martin. Which is right here, Martin Denmark. We'll select that. I'm going to find the Martin 2K profile. There it is. OK, so the scan selections here. This is, uh, you only have 16 moving lights you can patch on the desk. That's it. So uh, without expanding it. So we're going to clear this selection. This represents those buttons here on the screen. I'm going to patch eight of them, and I'm going to patch them one through eight. So what we'll do is I'll select all of these buttons. I have Mac. 2K profile selected here. I'm going to hit ready. Now, before this patches, it gives me an option to initialize. Well, what do I want to initialize? If I just do the scans, it's just going to assign these to these buttons. If I do names, it's going to bring in the, uh, it's almost like an auto create for presets, which will uh, fill this feature selection with pre made presets. Um, if I just do names, it's not going to actually put values to it. Scans and values, we'll just do values, no names. Scans, values, names will load in the presets, label them, and have data attached to them. Now, something you should note about this is that when you import this and you're using more than one fixture type, if I were to load these all in, which I'll do now, I'll show you. If I go over to, let's say, Gobo, it's auto-created names for Gobo. Sometimes you'll actually have uh, you know, stars, dots, what have you. Uh, this profile only gives you Gobo 1 through, uh, looks like, yep, 1 through 10. Um, if I go to CMY, it has some pre-built CMY uh, presets. If I select these, you'll see that it brings up the label, and there's actually data attached there. Um, now, what will happen is if I were to load a different fixture type here through 9 through 16, and imported those names, it's going to override all this, but keep the same data. So maybe in that profile, yellow is actually cyan. When you hit it, it says yellow, but it's actually bringing up cyan. It's going to create lots of problems for using different fixture types. I avoid using this, and I build it all from scratch every time. I rarely, unless I'm using one type, like I'm doing a party and I have scan command, or excuse me, uh, uh, track spots or something. Um, and I know I'm only using track spots. Then I'll import the presets and I'll use them. But most of the time, I don't. So um, let's start over again here. I'm just going to do this real quick. Clear all. OK, great. Set up. Clear. Lamp type. We're going to find Martin Denmark. All right, 2K. Where is it? I passed it, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. OK, select these. Ready. OK, now I'm just going to initiate scans. And that will only assign these buttons as that. It hasn't given it addresses. It hasn't brought in any presets. It's just telling me that 1 through 8 are Mac 2Ks. All right, that's awesome. Let's patch them now. If I quit out of here, you can see I have DMX patch. This bracket on the right, all these numbers represent 1 through 16, these buttons. These represent your extra channels, which would be your dimmer channels. All right, we're just going to worry about these scans. You'll see in the brackets here it says 24. That means that that fixture type is using 24 DMX uh, channels. So I'm going to look over at my patch here. It looks like my 2Ks are starting at um, address 153. So I'm going to spin this encoder here and find 153. I'm going to patch. 
I'm going to verify that the next one is actually 177, which it is. So I'm going to patch the rest of them through here. It'll say patch not possible because I reached 9 and I have nothing assigned there. All right. Just for demonstration purposes, let's, let's see what we've got here. By default, all these groups down here, um, losing a fader, uh, all these groups down here are assigned to everything by default. So if I were to throw a dimmer up here, probably have to open the shutter too. Yeah, okay. So all these faders are just going to bring those lights up. I don't want that. I want this to just be my 2K. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit clear. I'm going to select the 2Ks. I'm going to hold store. While I'm holding it, it says store group. I only have scans selected. You're also going to be able to store extra channels to these same faders if you wanted to. But right now we're going to have scan selected and I'm just going to hit A. So now when I'm in the home screen here, you can see that the other groups have everything selected, but A just has those. Now I want to pull these out of B through H. So I'm going to clear these, hit store, hold scan, and I'm just going to roll my finger across. Now I have nothing over here. And just for good measure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of the extra channels too. So over here, how you select your extra channels, it's kind of weird because it's in the feature selection. But if I hold extra and then hit extra one, make sure I have nothing selected here. If I hit store, extra. OK, now I just cleared the extra channels. Go to extra two, make sure nothing's selected. Store extra two. All right, now I only have two Ks assigned to A. That's it. Um, if that's confusing, we'll probably go over that again uh, at some point. But we've got two Ks right here. I can see them on the visualizer popping up. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. All right, great. Well, uh, so that's that's patched. That was easy. Let's take a look at the VL5s. Now, the VL5s have. Um, they're going to have a break patch because we're going to be using our 48 channel dimmer uh, to control um, the dimming uh, channels of those lights. There's actually a dimmer that's controlling the lamp in those moving heads. And the rest of the control is controlling the functions of the moving head itself. So if we go to lamp type here, we're going to assign these guys to be VL5s. I'm going to hit more and find Verilite. I just passed it, of course. Verilite, VL5. I believe we're in mode 4. Let me double check over here. VL5 mode 4, great. So I'm, not, I'm just going to initialize scans. Resets the desk. Hit quit. Now I go to DMX patch. Now you notice when I'm up on the 2Ks, um, it's just giving me the scan option, right? But if I click down here, watch what happens to the scan. It gives me two options that toggle. So, what I want to do first is patch the moving head portion. Uh, the moving head portion starts at channel 49. So right after our dimmers are patched, 49 is the first VL. So I'm going to spin my encoder down to 49. Patch. I'm going to verify 62 is the next address, which it is. Patch, 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 patch. There we go. Now we have these empty channels, which represent our dimmers. So. I'm going to go over dimmer here. Looks like the first one starting at 9. So I'll go back here. Find 9. What's, what, what, what's nice is this will jump ahead automatically on both the dimmer and the scan uh, selection. So once I hit 9 here, the next one will be 10. I can patch all the way down. Super easy to do uh, braked uh, patching. OK, well, we also have, you'll notice that our dimmer start at 9. So 1 through 8 are some just you know, some par cans that I patched here. So let's patch those and talk a little bit about extra channels. If you go down to extra channels, uh, this is where you patch those. And we're using the same buttons to assign, but you'll notice we're in extra. 1 through 16 now represent extra 1. 1 through 16 now represents extra 2. Each one of these extra channels can actually control three dimmer channels uh, consecutively. So if I patch this as 1, uh, select this. If I patch this as 1, you'll notice that it has a 3 next to it. So if I were to select number 1 when I go to extra, extra, extra 1, select 1, um, this will be dimmer 1, this will be 
Dimmer 2, this will be Dimmer 3. This is great for RGB fixtures, for LEDs, for example. You can use RGB, and it'll actually scale everything on the fader, which is nice. For simplicity, I'll be patching a single dimmer channel per extra location. That'll allow me to select the dimmers with the buttons here and use a single encoder rather than having to uh, grab, say, dimmer 4 and also be grabbing dimmer 1 at the same time, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do is uh, patch dimmer 2 to location 2. And if you watch the bracket here that says 3, it'll turn to a 1. Uh, we'll go all the way down here and patch 8. So the first 8 uh, extra channels will be our generic park hands or whatever. Um, our first 8 scans will be the Mac 2K profiles. 9 through 16 of the scans will be our VL5s, which are the break patch uh, coming off of our dimmers starting at 9 through 16. So now everything's patched. I can exit out of here. Uh, we've already assigned the 2Ks. Um, let's put the VLs here. So if I select B, there's nothing there. Uh, at this point, since we cleared everything out, it'll be as easy as just selecting 9 through 16, holding store, making sure scan is selected in our store group, hitting B. Now if I alt between these, you can see I can flash these between the two. You'll notice that nothing's coming up for the VL5. Well, that's because no default preset information or attribute information is brought in when you patch those instruments. You have to set it by default. Um, if I hit dimmer, bring that up, looks like I've got it there. Okay, great. So that's something to remember is that's not, now that I've set that, that's in the desk. I can't clear it out or anything. But if I were to change that, it's going to just remember the last, it's, it's the last uh, attribute that you've assigned that's going to be recalled. Um, so something you might want to do at the very beginning is select all of your lights and just store, if you hold store, actually just tap it, don't hold it. With all these selected, if I hit clear twice, it's going to select everything. Uh, now I don't necessarily want everything, I don't want my extra channels in there, so I'm going to um, going to hold clear and then select our extras, which, which pulls those out. So now I will be storing everything that's selected here. And we'll be going deeper into this uh, for the video that talks about presets and storing queue information. Um, but for now, all you got to know is we're storing defaults. So I'm going to store it right there. I'm going to call it default. Now, if I ever get kind of crazy and for some reason my... Uh, you know, my dimmers are all out of whack. I'm like, what is going on? Nothing's selected. I don't know what's happening. I can always just hit that button, and it'll bring me back to my defaults. Good starting place. It's kind of like the highlight feature, or, or excuse me, the locate feature on an Able Lights desk, for example, or if you were to hold MA uh, dot on the MA2. OK, so that's all done. Let's, uh, let's patch. The, well, we've already patched the dimmers. Let's assign those to something. So if I go to extra, extra one, um, I can select all of those dimmers. Hit store. Actually, I want to hold store. Hit C, right? So you're not seeing it because on the home screen, you're only going to see the selections for the scans. But if I go to extras, you'll see that that lights up. Now again, there's no information here, so I bring this encoder up, bring this fader up, now we'll see the park hands. All right, so that's the basic patching um, of the scan commander. Uh, you can see now we can grab uh, CMI information. Uh, let's grab all of these, change the colors. Um, you know, we can select our gobos and do all that fanciness. Uh, and the next step would be to build up your presets here on the soft keys and then start building some looks. So we'll be doing that in the next video. Uh, feel free to post a reply if you have any questions. Thanks.